would a tenant buyer want to work with us? Remember I was saying that there's kind of four main reasons. Somebody asked me this question, why do tenant buyers rent to own? So these are the four main reasons. First of all, it gives them time to get to where they need to be credit wise. So do they need um, employment history? Do they need time to uh, pay down their car loans so their GDS and TDS could level out a little bit better? Do they need time to pay off student debt? We have a lot of nurses who come into the rent to own program. They're carrying a lot of student debt and they don't have job history, so it's a double whammy. There's a lot of reasons that different people do not qualify um, to borrow. And we essentially make all those pieces fit together. Some people, you know, the basic, the 222 rule, you know, the 222 rule, two years, two trade lines, $2,000 each. Most people who come into our rent to own program don't know that. And to get credit in Canada, that's the bare minimum you need to qualify with 5% down and a great income. So that's what we help them do. That's the credit side of it. It buys them time. It's not the sexy part of it, but it's the necessary part of it. And that's the part we hold them accountable to. Nobody wants to repair their credit unless they're accountable to do it. And when we manage that relationship with those tenant buyers, we make them accountable. We make them show up when they need to show up. We make them take action when they need to take action. If you left them to their own devices, they'd never do this, would you? Like if somebody told you you have to like really work on your credit, <coughs> we'll find five million other things to do because it's, not, it's no fun. The other thing that we allow the tenant buyers to do is build equity through the rent-to-own process. So if they take out the carpet and put in a nicer floor, that's adding value to their property, but it's also mitigating my risk because if they walk away, I have a property that is in better shape than it was than when I purchased it. However, if they complete the process, it's a carrot for them because they exit at a property that's valued by the banks at a higher rate than what they're buying it fr from me for. So I love that kind of commitment. I'll, I'll answer your question in a, in a second. And the last thing that we do, or sorry, the other thing that we do is we build them up to a 10% down payment. Nine or 10% down payment credit is kind of where we're at. We're one of the only rent-to-owned companies to have been doing that for 10 years. All of the other rent-to-owned companies out there are starting to follow suit, thank goodness, because this is the one thing that really increases their success rate, the higher down payment credit. But it also plays into our favor as investors. It boosts our cash flow. Mm. The more they, the more, the bigger the down payment we're building up each month, the higher the cash flow I get. The more I pull out my capital through the throughout the rental, and I don't have to wait for the capital gain. So that gives me assurance and a sense of uh, sanity and a sense of security. And then um, stability. I want to talk about the human factor. Everyone wants to know that they're stable. No one wants to anticipate that the landlord's going to come a knocking, that the landlord's going to ask you to move. These people have already been through a lot of those types of disturbances. They want stability. And that's really why somebody would gravitate to a rent-to-own because it gives them a sense that this is home and we enable that. 